my family. We are not using it, no? The very mic, the amplifier, the harmonium, just imagine. Everything, when we go to the dining table, we eat no? so many dishes. What is your dish? Rice, okay? Rice, dal, chapati. You call it chapati, no? Roti. 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 Did we make it for the first time? We don't know the person who conceived this roti, who conceived this rice. Paddy, we have that paddy, idea, no paddy? Yes. Paddy. Paddy is a gift of Mother Nature, just like air. It was not man made. But somebody, somebody looked at it and thought of removing the husk. We don't know that great person, no? Then the rice came out. We don't know the first person who boiled the rice. But we are using it. Just that thing, one by one, one by one. So play the, what do you call this? Drums. 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 Drum. Did we do that? Did we do the raga, taga, you know? No. Anything you should start thinking about it. It's a gift. So when somebody has given everything to us, should we think about me and mine? We should also expand. This is called goodness. In a village, there was a family, father was seriously sick, mother tries to earn something and uh, they had a son. There was a school nearby, primary school. And this boy was going to the school. He was a brilliant boy, up to fifth standard. He came out first in his class. After that, there was no school nearby. He has to go for the higher education. Say after 10, no? 10 kilometers. Here, kilometers or miles? Kilometers. 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 So the mother said, I will not be able to send you for higher education. You also start working. <coughs> the mother gets job once in a way. When there is no rain, there won't be any work. It's a dry land. When, the, when it rains, you know, the cultivation starts. So she gets some job and some wages with which the family is being run. Our language is all right. You can follow, no? Yes. <laughs> no, children. Are you listening? We will ask questions. Yes. <laughs> so when she said she will not be able to send her son for higher studies, he became very sad, the son became very sad. He was a studious boy. Somehow the headmaster came and pleaded to his mother that you should allow this child to go. Then she said, I don't have the money to buy for books or for his dress, or for his food. Then immediately the boy said, that you don't worry, Saturday and Sunday there won't be any schools, I will try to earn something, and I will not bother you, please allow me to study. The headmaster encouraged him, he impressed upon the mother, that this boy has a very good future, you should please allow him to do that. With the reluctance, the mother agreed. Every day, the boy will go. The headmaster was kind enough to provide the basic necessities like books, pen, pencil, all the requisites for education. And this boy on Saturdays and Sundays, he will try to do whatever he has. Seeing his enthusiasm, people used to give him some money. With that money, he was trying to meet all his expenses and whatever is left, surplus, he will pass it on to the mother. 
is a going on. On one on Saturday, when there was no school, he was trying to go out. Whenever any vehicle passes, he will when they stop, he will immediately go and tell them, "Can I clean the windscreen? Can I clean the uh, the bonnet?" Seeing the enthusiasm of the boy, they will permit and they will give him some money. So on one Saturday, when he went out, he was feeling hungry because there was nothing at home to eat. He saw a house. Now his mother had told, under no circumstances you should go and ask anything from anybody. You must work and stand on your own legs. This has been there in his mind. But on that particular day, when he felt hungry, he went and knocked at the house. The lady of the house opened the door. Yes, what do you want? Seeing the boy, she asked. Suddenly he remembered his mother. He cannot ask anything. But he has already knocked at the door. She has opened. With all love, she comes out and asks. She said, can you give me a cup of water? Seeing the boy, she asked the boy to sit. There was a chair. She went inside, brought a full cup of boiled milk and some biscuits. And sat there, take, made him to drink. He was reluctant, made him to drink and take the biscuits. Nobody in, in, in his life had offered him like that with such a loving touch. And brought him straight down now, dear straight. It really touched his heart. He thanked her profusely, came out of the house. The lady also came out, saw him off. She has also not seen a boy like this. Years rolled by. He stood first in his class. He did well in his school days, I mean, classes, exams. Later on, seeing his 100% concentration and uh, dedication to the education, at the same time, he was having all moral ethical values. People in society encouraged him to have higher education. Went on. Days, years, months passed. This lady became very old. She had a stomach ache, severe stomach ache. So many uh, native medicines were tried. So many people tried because she was so loving to everybody. Everybody who is staying in and around her was very keen to help her in all possible ways. Finally, they knew she cannot bear this pain, so she has to be taken to the nearest town, city. They arranged for the vehicle, took this mother, went there, admitted in a top class hospital. Immediately she was taken in, the doctors in charge, they came, they examined, they knew she had something very, very, something like cancer. So, it is not advisable to keep her in the hospital. She might pass away, it will be a bad mark for the hospital. But before sending her back with some medicine, they telephoned to the senior doctor. They said, a lady has come. She is having this much of the symptomatic she is very critical. So we would like to send her back with some medicine. We just wanted to inform you. He immediately said, don't send her back, I am coming there. He came there, examined her, knew she was in a critical stage. He admitted her and put her on wonderful treatment. 
Some medicines have to be brought from abroad. We arrange for it. Slowly the pain started coming down. In a month's time, she was completely free from the ailment. The day of the discharge was decided. And naturally, you know, they, they prepared the bill. So she was praying to God, why did you make me to survive? How will I pay the bill? <coughs> Even if somebody comes forward, I will not be able to pay back to them. So with a heart full of such thoughts, she prayed and the bill was given. But before the bill was handed over to her, the senior doctor said, you sent it to me and then give it to her. He went through the bill, on the back of which he scribbled a few words, then said, give it to her. As soon as with a shivering hand she received the bill, it was a big amount, very big amount. To be in a super speciality hospital for a month and to have the treatment for such a, a disease, she could understand it will be a very big amount which she will not be able to pay at all. And she was, she did not know what to do. Suddenly, you know, accidentally she turned. On the back, there was a, there were a few words. You know what the words were? One glass of milk has settled this pain. She couldn't understand. And then again she went into dear one glass of milk has settled this bill. What does it mean? Anything that strikes you? Tell me. No? The boy that he, the, the boy. boy that she gave milk and um, this boy? biscuits. The boy that she gave milk and biscuits. Was the same boy that helped him. It was the same boy that was superintendent. This boy, when he knew this, this lady is from the village. She did not show any signs of affinity or closeness, but he did what is to be done. Perfection, dedication, love, quality, care and concern, all these were writ large in him. She shall remembered many, many years back, when boy came, I remember, he asked for a cup of water. But we gave him a cup of milk. Could that boy be the doctor? She was in tears. Does he remember me? When she was just lifting her face from the bill, he saw the doctor there. The doctor came, hugged her, and she said, Yes, I was the same boy. Then only the, the villagers came to know that this village was a very backward village. They had no, apart from this primary school, they did not have any school, no electricity, no post office, no hospital. But later on, roads, later on, one by one, they started getting it. And they knew somebody was behind this, somebody was behind this to impress upon the government authorities to put nice roads, Bridges, schools, colleges, primary health centre, one boy. So the boy did not forget now. The boy did not forget his roots, his early days. He was not thinking in terms of me and mine. He was instrumental in bringing up that village to a very great level and also to show such sort of care and concern for this lady and for his people there. 
They sees how he pay back, you know. He continues to pay back. One glass of milk has settled his bill. So spirituality means, it doesn't mean that only worshipping the deities, doing bhajans, Ramna, all these things are necessary, it's a must. But along with that, we also try to see that God stands for goodness. Godliness is goodness. So in our life, if we also try to follow these things, He will be pleased. Deities will be pleased. Because this deity is accessible for everybody, you know. Huh? Not limited to anybody. Gurudev Swami Shivanti Maharaj was a saint in India. He was a doctor. He was also born like all of us. To a father and mother. He had his education, schooling, college education. He became a doctor. He worked in Malaysia. He, he, he had everything to claim for himself. But one fine morning, the call came from within. Not for you and your Lord. <clears throat> and that inner call was instrumental in resigning the job, coming back to India, leaving everything, went to Rishikesh and took to this. What for? Not merely for his enlightenment. First his enlightenment and through that enlightenment to reach everyone, near and dear one, even to the people in South Africa. Even after uh, 61 years, before 61 years he dropped the body. But he continues to inspire us, you know. He continues to inspire us, all of us. This institution has come because of him, you know. The inspiration he gave to Puja Swamiji. So they continue to reach us now, whether they are in body or not. That means what? Expansion from me to we. So spirituality is nothing but me to we. Just like all deities are accessible for everybody, irrespective of any, any caste, color, religion. God is for everybody, no? Just like air is for everybody, earth is for everybody, water is for everybody, sun is for everybody. Just like whatever we are enjoying has not been that the person who has invented, discovered or innovated has not specified the beneficiary. They have also given it to everybody. Our life also should be like that. To remind us, we are chanting Nama, we are doing bhajan, we are going down before our gurus, we are going down before our deities. These are some of the points that were in the heart when we wanted to share some thoughts with you. We are praying to them. Please bless us so that all our thoughts, all our words, all our deeds be instrumental in reaching out to your creation. Through your creation you are supporting me. You are making me to exist in this world. So let all my thoughts, words and also reach. I may not be able to discover, invent or innovate, but whatever thoughts that well up, whatever words I utter, whatever deeds I do, it should be useful to as many people as possible. This is our humble prayer. Uh, the thing that I learned from the story is that you must always show generosity to everyone and be benevolent in every way and don't be selfish. Yes, we said she learned that we should be generous and then, don't be selfish. Good. Then. <coughs> Anything else? Yes, sir. sir. What I learned from this story is that you don't have to forget where you come from. Because this boy was come from the poor land and he grew up to become the daughter and he provided from this land to become a good land. What does he say? He says, must not forget where you come from. Yeah. Don't forget where you come from. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> hey. And uh, the, the biggest one. <laughs> 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 The only children, what you want to say? You can ask all your question also. Anything about chanting, about uh, the boy, the one word is past. No? Yes. Yes, then. Anything else? Are you yes. Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, yes.
the message I get is that in giving, you receive. In, in giving, you receive. Sure. You're in giving, yeah. you receive. You the lady you. offered him a cup of, cup of milk. In giving, that you receive. Oh. Yeah. And he received at times of crisis. Regiji. Yes. Are you sorry? Yes. He said, among these said children... Amongst here, like in the story, the doctor, amongst here, one of them is... Will be a doctor. Will be, will be, will resemble that same story. Sure, 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 sure. That's what Master will be trying to do. I'll tell something when it really comes to the time. <laughs> because all the teachers and all have gone, we, we haven't seen that yet. Sunday, you are seeing them? We are going to meet them Sunday? Sunday, yes, all of them. Two more incidents and yes, share. Two more stories from which you share. <laughs> so, uh, Sunday, that will be nice. Because that will be a story time. Goodness is God in us, that we should talk. Yes. Goodness is God in us. Anybody else can say anything? Any dimension? Some adults? Say something. No. Yes. Is that no matter how hard is no matter how hard is hard, you have to keep going forward. No matter how the life is hard, you have to keep trying, you have to keep moving forward. The boy's perseverance, you know. Yes. Say, 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 don't worry, don't push, huh? So, when you do that, you add that to the 
Talk, talk a little loud. I'll come here to the mic. She learned from this story that God can come in any form. First class, beautiful. God come, can come in any form. Godliness is goodness. Goodness is godliness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Om Triyambara Yajami Sukhande Pushti Vardana Urvarukami Bhavandana Mrityo Mokshita Mahamuddha Om Triyambara Yajami Sukhande Pushti Vardana Urvarukami Bhavandana Mrityo Mokshita Mahamuddha Om Triyambara Yajami Sukhande Pushti Vardana Urvarukami Bhavandana Mrityo Mokshita Mahamuddha Om Triyambara Yajami Sukhande Pushti Vardana Urvarukami Bhavandana Mrityo Mokshita Mahamuddha Om Triyambara Yajami Sukhande Pushti Vardana Urvarukami Bhavandana Mrityo Mokshita Mahamuddha Kapura Gaunam Karuna Samsara Saram Ujjigindara Sadama Sandam Hidayore Vinde Bhavan Bhavani Saitam Namami Bhavan Bhavani Saitam Namami Tumeva Maka Chavita Tumeva Tumeva Bandhu Chasaka Tumeva Tumeva Vidya Draginam Tumeva Tumeva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Namo Sarvesham Shanti Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Sankhya Ramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makasthi Dukhavagave Om Masutoma Sakkamaya Kamsoma Jyotirtamaya Mrityoma Mrtangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamida Purna Purnamasyati Purnasya Purnamadahe Purnamevavishyati Om Shanti 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 Satpurmaraj ki jai, Sanatna dharma ki jai, Sarva dharma ki jai, Nama Parviti Pati, Har Har Mahadev ki jai.